station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We are ready for the event. ABC News Radio, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Jim Ryan. How do you hear me? We have you loud and clear. How us? Hi. Hi. First of all, Tracy, happy birthday. Thank you very much. It's been a very happy one. I'm, I'm sure it has. I, when I look back at history, uh, Buzz Aldrin was 39 years old when he walked on the moon. It seems as though when you look at the, the bios of people who are headed into space, now age really is not an issue. And, and you're not old, certainly, but uh, we're, we're all older than Buzz Aldrin was. Is it an issue? Is it a factor? You mean for Buzz or for any of us? For any of us. For for astronauts in 2024, is is age a factor? Is it an issue? Is it an issue? I don't think so. One bit. Um, you know, young and old. Uh, space, uh, though, for the very old, could be um, a bit challenging. But uh, John Glenn, uh, being the oldest astronaut, um, went to space when I believe he was 77 years old. So. Some of us have a long way to go still. When I look at, uh, at your bio, Tracy, and see your life beyond uh, your work as an astronaut, uh, learning Russian, learning sign language, and if when you talk to young people especially, how important is it they be well-rounded? Yes, they know about uh, STEM issues and about that, but they also have other interests as well. Is that important? I, I definitely think uh, having outside interests are important. It's kind of an expression of, of who you are, and, and um, I think you're the best you when you're doing things that you really enjoy doing. So um, if that involves, you know, speaking and learning different languages, then that's a great way to express that. And uh, tell me about the experiments you're involved in. I understand, Tracy, you're doing some work uh, with fire and how fire acts in, uh, in, a, in a weightless uh, situation. Uh, well, I've worked on a number of uh, investigations up here as the hands-on person. Um, there have been a number of combustion um, and flame experiments. I've uh, worked inside, um, most recently, inside the Japanese module, working on uh, combustion, um, looking at different materials to see uh, how they respond to different conditions uh, that promote uh, combustion. And uh, But I'm really just the, the hands-on person, putting it all together in, in space, uh, the real brains are uh, on the ground who have uh, dreamed up these experiments and and uh, their curiosity is what uh, is fueling us up here to put these things together. Fantastic. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm doing tremendous. How are you? I'm great. I've seen some of the images that you've taken, some of the pictures that you've taken uh, during your time in space. And by the way, uh, Ernesto now has become a hurricane within the last 20 or 30 minutes. It was it's bumped up from tropical storm. Uh, and I've seen your images of previous storms like this. Uh, tell me about that, how, how you've transferred your interest in photography into your work in, in, on the ISS. Oh, man, so many things to talk about here. I mean, one, I mean, my dad was a photographer, and so I remember seeing him take pictures growing up and talk about it passionately in his career in photography. And then... You know, I dabbled a little bit, but coming up here and, and that first look out the window, uh, how could you not want to take pictures and, and try and share that with the rest of humanity, everything you can see from up here? And I spent a fair bit of time trying to capture what I can see with my eye. Uh, I've, not, I've not been able to achieve it yet, but there's just so many different colors and, and the depth of exposure and, and things that you can try and do to try and share what we see and share with humanity. So 
uh, a deep drive to share and then just try to figure out, you know, also the technical side. I'm a huge nerd and I really enjoy uh, dabbling with it. Tracy's laughing at me because it's true. <laughs> Am I a nerd? You're a total nerd. Yep, yep it's official. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, just dabbling with a, with a really technical advanced camera equipment. I got a whole wall of camera equipment. I got a new, a new lens we've been playing with uh, over here the past couple days. So uh, I love it. It's, just, it's a mixture of so many things that I love. And, and I saw your pictures of the Aurora Borealis, and it was just fascinating. Is there one image that you will blow up and turn into a poster when you get back to uh, when you get back home? I, I'm only going to pick one. Only one image. <laughs> only one image I'm going to print out of the quarter million I've taken so far. <laughs> oh man, so many images. Uh, yeah, I mean, the picture I took of uh, Hurricane Barrel. Uh, you know, I, that was interesting. I remember taking that picture and then going, oh, man, that's that's a big one. And then racing through the lab and going in and, and uh, into our crew quarters and calling my wife and said, hey, uh, that's kind of a big one. Come, we better get stuff picked up at the house. And it ended up taking down our fence and uh, and part of our roof. So maybe maybe that picture, that's a memorable picture. <laughs> hey, I'm in space. I see it coming. Run, 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 wife and kids. <laughs> There's a lot of pictures I've taken that I want to share, of course, and print out. Uh, for both of you, as we prepare to uh, deorbit the International Space Station, what will be the legacy of uh, of that machine, of that achievement? And for you personally, what does it mean to have been aboard there, knowing that it's it, it'll soon be gone? Oh wow! I mean, there's there's so many things that this International Space Station has done, but I think it's it's really captured in the first word, and that's international. So many people have crossed seemingly insurmountable divides to come together uh, to build this space station. Nations around the world work together every single day to keep it going. We've had continuous human presence for 20 years. Out of frame, you can't see. I, I, I got my Russian crewmate here with me. Uh, he's, he's, working on, he's working with Butch Wilbur together on the space station keeping this going. So I think the big legacy is look what humanity can do when they come together and work together. Thoughts from you, Tracy? And I think um, just to just to um, expand a little bit on what uh, Matt was saying that I think the legacy of the space station is going to be its unity from uh, day one we've been building uh, the space station together with our Russian colleagues and the rest of our international partners and then once we uh, put it all together uh, we stayed together and we have begun uh, a new frontier in science and technology by using the space station and not just by one nation but by multiple nations and so it's it's uh, no no uh, surprise that as we orbit this beautiful planet that the work that we're doing here on board the International Space Station is really a representation of our planet and if that doesn't uh, Kind of bring a legacy of unity, then I don't know what does. And so for me personally, it's been a legacy of teamwork. And to be a part of that is a blessing and um, something that I cherish my whole life. For the both of you, you just mentioned Bush, and I think he just flew by there. Uh, should we be worried about your food supply, your water, and the rest of it? I mean, they, they've extended their stay beyond, well beyond what it was supposed to be. Should we be concerned about the uh, supply? Oh, there he is. Uh, that was hilarious. Uh, we had one, uh, Butch Wilbur executing his out-of-control flight procedures as he went creating through the laboratory. Uh, the No, we're not worried about food. we got plenty of food and drink to eat up here. We are well supplied with lots of cargo vehicles. We just got one. In fact, you see giant CTBs behind me. Cargo transfer bags is what we mean by CTB. Full of food. Uh, we're good. We're good, and we, we reprocess, what, 96% of our water, something like that, high 90s. Uh, so we're, we're set, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. I really appreciate your time today. Same. Glad to, glad to give a chat with you. Likewise. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for everything. Station is the Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you to all participants from ABC News Radio. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.